up guys twisted here so today I'm going to show you how to unlock the Archon archetype this is an archetype that took the community a little bit of time to figure out how to unlock um, everything that I show you has to be exact for it to work you're going to have to equip Ford's loadout in order to enter the back rooms which is where the strange cube is that you need to give to Wallace all right let's get into it now first you're gonna need your Explorer archetype ranked all the way up to level 10 so you can access the treasure hunter skill Next, you're going to need your Invader class ranked up to at least level 5 in order to access the Wormhole skill. Both these skills have to be set in order for this to work. Next, you're going to need the full Realm Walker set. You can get this once you beat the game on campaign mode and unlock the Explorer. You should be able to purchase this armor from Whispers at Ward 13. After that is going to be the Void Heart. Now this one can be a bit of a pain to get. In order to get this, you need to beat the Nerud part of the storyline and you need the Seeker's Keys beginning. Once you get to the final world boss, do not use the override pin. Kill him normally just by accessing the console. Once you do this, go back to the Estonian and talk to him. Now, after you talk to him, you're going to have to wait 24 hours in real life time in order for him to leave the planet and open up Alepsis Tura. This can be done in either adventure mode or campaign. It does not matter. However, you will not be able to go anywhere else on Nerud except for Alepsis Tura at that point or after that point. Next is Ford Scattergun. To get this, you're going to need to roll Yisha until you get the Red Throne start. Go in, talk to the Queen, and then complete the world. Once you beat the Corruptor boss, go back and talk to the Queen again. Make sure you are kind with her. And when she asks you to kneel, kneel. This will give you the ring you need to access the area to get the Scattergun. After you get the seal of the Empress Ring, head out of the throne room and into the library on the right. Head up the stairs and the floor should open up, giving you access to Ford's Scattergun. Next is the Labyrinth Staff. This can be found in the Labyrinth. Next is the Cube Gun. To get this, you need to beat the Sentinel Boss in the Labyrinth and then give the Conflux Prism to McCabe. Next, you're going to need these four specific rings. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you where to get all four of these. However, there are many guides and tutorials on how to do just that. And lastly is Leto's Amulet. Now, in order to be able to purchase this, you need to put on some heavy armor, the stuff that makes you body flop instead of dodge roll. And you need to go and body flop dodge a hundred times. So I just went to Yisha and I dodged an enemy a hundred times with the body flop. Once you do that 100 times, you will then be able to purchase this amulet from Reggie at Ward 13. Now, once you have done all that and everything is just perfect, you will then obtain this red corrupted shimmer around your body. Now, once you have all of that in order, make your way over to the labyrinth and come to this changing portal. 
wait until it changes to this picture and then wait a second and drop in to land on the path. Wipe out the enemies if you choose and make your way over to the door. Once at the door, make sure you have everything equipped and are glowing with the Corruption Glow. At this point, it will allow you to open the door and proceed into the back rooms. Now, follow my path here to obtain all three of the items that can be gotten back here. This looks like it could be useful. Never seen anything like this before. I should ask Wallace. Now, take that strange cube back to Wallace at Ward 13 and purchase your Archon Archetype. This archetype is absolutely insane. I believe it is one of the best archetypes in the game and has the ability to produce absolute massive amounts of damage. Okay, and that is everything you need to know to obtain the Archon Archetype. I hope this helps you guys. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be much more to come from this game. And any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will try to get back to you. On top of that, have yourselves an excellent day. <laughs>